Hello there, how are you all doing? I hope you're all doing well. So my favorite store in the entire world is Target, go figure. One of the things that Target has had for as long as I can remember is the dollar spot, which apparently is now called Bullseye's Playground. And Bullseye's Playground, or what I still call the dollar spot, is basically tons of different items that are $5 or less, and they often have really cute things there. And I thought to myself the other day that it would be a really fun idea to go to the Target dollar spot and buy things that I can make over or turning them into something else or using multiple items together to make something brand new or just like repainting things. I would love to make this into a series if this interests any of you so please 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 give this video a thumbs up if it does interest you and you want to see more. So when I was in there yesterday I did buy a couple of things but this one was an idea that I had almost immediately. They have a lot of Valentine's Day stuff there at the moment and I found these three wooden containers that have special delivery, fresh cut roses, chocolate, wine. Ugh. A few months ago, we were like, we should try and have one glass of wine a night because it's really good for you, apparently. And we just sat there and we just could not tolerate the taste of it. I just, I do not drink, especially wine. I thought it would be a really fun idea to turn these three wooden compartment tray special delivery for decorative use only into a marker holder. So like you have all of the sections, obviously it's too small on its own to be a marker holder. These were $5 each. So essentially this is a $15 craft. Yes, I did have to buy a couple of the items that are going with it to make this, but those are things that I'm gonna probably use in future crafts. So while we're on the topic of buying things to give the makeovers, I wanted to tell you a little bit about today's sponsor that I have used for literally years. PayPal Honey, the number one online shopping tool in America and it's free. As you can see, I've used it a lot over the last couple of years. It's a bit embarrassing. Well, you know what? No, it's not embarrassing because I saved money. To keep it super simple, Honey automatically scours the internet for promo codes when you buy stuff online so you don't have to. So if you still Google coupon codes, you probably still count on your fingers instead of using a calculator because you enjoy doing things the long, hard way. You can use Honey on all your favorite websites, whether it's shoes, video games, food delivery, or art supplies. Look at those savings. Did I mention it's free? It just adds to your browser and a couple of clicks and during checkout on any website it will pop up hello there it is trying to save me money it's like my little best friend no hang on no no don't go googling for it i know it's free but use my link it makes you cooler well actually it just helps to support my channel because honey can see that my audience actually clicked my link join honey.com slash chloe rose it's also free if i didn't mention that yet thank you so much to honey for sponsoring my video make sure you check it out and use my link okay 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 so first and foremost i need to figure out how to remove the this background. Unfortunately, it looks like the wood is actually attached to this main bit here. I think we'll be able to get it off. Hopefully, I'm not too sure, but we fingers crossed we can. I'm gonna try, first of all, to cut around with this knife and see if I can just get it off. You never know your luck. Okay. Was relatively easy. Yes, I still have the label on my hammer, and yes, I have owned it for nearly two years. <laughs> if I can just like. Okay, there we go. One piece is out. That was way easier than I was expecting it to be. Two. Oh, this is awesome. Look, it's exactly what I was hoping it would do. Goody, 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 goody. Okay, I was really worried it was gonna be stubborn, but I think if I smack it enough. Did it. Okay, cool. It looks messy, obviously, but we'll we'll clean that up. But yeah, there we go. Okay. I've got to stand up to get proper grip on this. Oh shoot. Okay, I'm gonna punch this out. Destroying things by accident is like my easiest hobby. Ten hours later. Yay, that 
that was easy. Okay, so this actually works very nicely. So now we have two like this that we can then glue together against this one. We get something like this. It's nice and hollow so we can stick a bunch of markers in there. So there we go. So next thing I am going to sand these down. And once I've done that, I'm going to glue all of them together, wait for it to dry, then we're gonna fill it with wood filler, sand it down again, and then we're going to spray it and paint it to look all nice. Okay, so I have some sanding paper. I have some wood glue. I also am gonna wear this because I don't really want to breathe in the whatever is on this. Getting in all the edges to try and neaten it up a little bit. Just gonna cut away any pieces that shouldn't be here. Okay, so we got one done. I'm gonna work on this one now. Okay, number two is done. Now we got number three. So this one just needs sanding on the outside. I do need to fix this back portion though that I damaged. But I'm just gonna sand it and then use some wood filler. And hopefully it won't be noticeable. So now I'm just wiping them off to make sure I get rid of any of the sawdust for obviously that I glued them together. But I'm actually really happy with how easily that came off. It has taken me about 35 minutes to do, but like that's not much in the grand scale of things. Right, so I'm just using a wet tissue right now to get rid of any of the excess sand that we had and the surface. Now I'm going to glue it all together. This, I am not sure how it's gonna go. My head's itchy. I'm not sure if it'd be better if I do it this way. I think it's basically the same thing, so I'd be better off doing it this way. Okay, so I'm just gonna basically take the glue. We have to allow this to dry for 24 hours, which is kind of annoying, but it is what it is. Okay, apparently we have to clamp this for 25 to 30 minutes. I don't have clamps, so I'm just gonna use books. Okay, I just need to make sure that it's even on all sides. I'm gonna get a brush though. I'm just gonna clean up these edges here and also help the glue kind of stay in those cracks. Okay, that seems pretty well fitted. So I'm just gonna wipe off the excess though because I don't really want to have to sand it all down again if I can help it. No, that's got to come off. Right, don't judge my wet elbow, okay? <laughs> right, so putting this third layer on. I'm definitely putting way too much glue on this, but it's fine, I can just wipe it off after. Better too much than too little. Okay, now we're gonna place on this third layer. Okay, the only issue is these aren't lining up 100% perfectly because obviously these are manufactured and cut, so they're not perfectly the exact same measurements. So it's gonna look a little DIY when we're done, but you know, it'll probably still look hopefully semi-decent. <laughs> so this is how it currently looks. Instead of clamping it, I'm just gonna put a bunch of heavy books on top because it will have the same effect. And I'm just gonna leave this now until tomorrow and then I'm gonna fill it with wood filler and then I'm going to obviously spray it and paint it and make it look all nice. And we'll see how this looks tomorrow. Okay, so the only thing that is an issue with this is that based on how you have to remove the background, you have a gap here. I am going to attempt to fill it with wood filler. I am not sure if this is gonna be successful. If it's not, I'm gonna use some like wallpaper or something stuck on some paper just to kind of hide it. 
Okay, I'm actually gonna use some of this. I know this is not ideal. This can be sanded and painted. So we're just gonna stick this in the gaps because I feel like this is gonna work better than wood filler. Okay, this is messy, but I think this is gonna work to cover in these gaps. Okay, I know this looks like crap, but trust the process. <laughs> I'm telling myself that more than I am telling everyone else watching right now. But trust me, when this is all hardened and dry, I'm going to be able to sand this down to look much better than it did before. And this doesn't have to be perfect either because this is like literally the inside. So it doesn't have to look perfect, but it just hides those ugly gaps that were there. Okay, that is all filled. It looks a mess. I'm going to wash my hands. <laughs> Okay, so this is how it looks. It's all sanded, it's all filled, it's all hardened. It actually looks pretty, like it looks handmade, okay? But it looks pretty good. I mean, this may not bother anyone, because I mean, it's gonna be covered up with markers anyway, so it's really personal choice. I think what I'm gonna do though, just to cover the base, I'm actually going to take some scrapbook paper and actually glue it in the base here, just to make it look a little bit nicer. So I have this paper pad from Michaels and it basically has all of these really cool designs on it. I've had this for like three years and I haven't really known what to do with it. So I figured I could cut out some shapes and insert them into the base here. I kind of just want it to look a little bit nicer than it currently does. That looks pretty cute. I think what I'm gonna do is use my paper cutter. Fun fact, I only cut my finger off with this once and I almost passed out from bleeding. I'm certainly not as talented as Martina from Nerdforge to actually make myself a new finger. This thing is very dusty because I'm scared to use it. This thing kind of sucks though. Look how it cuts it. It's completely uneven. I'm also going to stick them on the sides too. Okay, so I'm going to do it so it's a little cubby like this. Okay, so it's all done. I really like how it looks with the paper filling in all of the edges. Again, you're not really gonna see it too much, but it just kind of makes it look a little bit cooler. And I will let you know, I probably have about 100 markers, which I'm not sure how much of this is actually gonna be filled by 100 markers, but we'll see. So this is 50 markers, which means this whole thing is gonna be able to hold 300 markers. Way more than I was expecting, but I'm actually really happy about that because it gives me room to grow. If you're someone with a million markers, you might wanna make a couple of these and put them next to each other. Okay, 
Okay, so this is how it looks with 159 markers in it. All different shapes and sizes. We have Copics, we have Spectrum Noir, we have Prismacolors. So it's different brands and they all fit in really nicely. It's not as pretty when you have different brands of different shapes and sizes, but it looks really nice. This is how it looks in the end. I think it turned out really nicely. Looks nice and fancy. This could easily take about 300 markers. So for $15, I am very happy with that. Really nice. It looks more kind of handmade, but I think that's what gives it a charm. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of how it looks. Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next video.